Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So, this is going to be my last video before the big night tonight, and I'm, uh, I'm definitely very, very excited for tonight. I, I really cannot wait for this last episode. At, at the time of recording, the episode's actually going to be airing in a, a little over six hours, six and a half hours, actually. And so I'm just extremely excited for it, very nervous for this episode. I'm very nervous, honestly. Uh, I woke up today kind of feeling a little shaky about tonight, just, you know... I, I'm just nervous because I've been really wanting this episode to be really good. I've been really wanting some Rick Grimes stuff, and I just hope that this episode does deliver on that. I really do. This episode needs to deliver on the Grimes legacy. Our characters need to find out he's alive. Everything that we've been watching for the however many years, it needs to matter here. It really does need to feel like it matters. Because if those things happen, it makes the spinoff so exciting. It makes the future so exciting. Because of that respect showed there to the story and the payoff, right? And I just, I'm excited for it. I, I just, I really cannot wait. And again, I'm also still very, very nervous about it. I've been seeing a lot of people saying that they're like very nervous. They've been crying and stuff all day. And it's, it, yeah, it's going to be a really emotional episode, to be honest. I, I just, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just dreading it. I want it to be over with, but I'm just like dreading it. So before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walking at content like this. I'm going to have my review out today, uh, a little after the episode airs, obviously. I'm going to have to work on it. I'll have my review out. I will have my post credit scene breakdown because I'm so confident there's going to be a post credit scene. So I'll have that out as well. Have those two videos out and then you know depending on other stuff that was announced maybe i'll have a third video out later on tonight it's gonna be a really big night and uh we'll have to wait and see though but a lot of that might come out in the morning honestly i might just wait until the morning and then start you know breaking down a lot of the announcements and stuff because there's probably gonna be a lot of announcements and all that on talking dead tonight right so yeah expect the next week to be pretty nuts in terms of videos and stuff for me there's gonna be a lot to talk about over the next week and then yeah i mean as we you know end this month going to december a lot of the hype is going to shift towards the Rick and Michelle television show because they're going to be filming that in like a little over a month or maybe it's like two months from now, but they're filming it in January. It could be early. It could be mid-January or, or the end of January, but they're going to be filming in January. We could get a big update uh, towards that tonight. So yeah, so much to look forward to. So definitely make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my walking at content because, you know, this year was big because of the end of the year here. But in terms of walking that content that we've gotten all year long, it honestly hasn't been the strongest, I would say. Next year is going to be nuts with the amount of stuff coming out. And it's stuff that's going to be actually exciting to watch. Like Fear the Walking Dead Season 8, you can say what you want about Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. Season 8, I think, is going to be better because obviously it can't get worse than Season 7. It really can't. And to actually have Madison back in the story now with Morgan and stuff, I think it's going to change so much. I'm really excited for that. And then just with the spinoffs and stuff, right? Uh, and and the return of Rick Grimes, Comic-Con next year is going to be nuts. There's definitely going to be a lot to talk about here. So like I said, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get my content like this. But let's talk about tonight's episode. Tonight's episode, episode 24, I believe it's titled Rest in Peace. I've been seeing some people say it's changed or whatever, but it's the last episode. It doesn't really matter what it's called. Honestly, it's the last episode. And this episode has a lot of, uh, a lot of people watching tonight. There's a lot of people. And I've been seeing... A lot of people online talking about watching this episode tonight and people that don't normally talk about The Walking Dead, they're going to be tuning in tonight. It, this is going to be a really insane moment. And, and what's kind of exciting is none of us have watched it yet. Usually at this point on a Sunday, like 75 to 80, 90 percent of the people have watched it already. Right. So tonight, everyone watching all at once. Honestly, for me personally, I'm probably going to watch it on AMC Plus, but I am really debating on whether or not I should be watching it on cable. And the reason is is really because of just of just nostalgia, to be honest. It's just purely nostalgia. Like there's a big, big part of me that just really wants to, you know, watch The Walking Dead on AMC and just like, you know, watch it with the commercials and stuff like that, just like in the old days, right? So there's there's a part of me that wants to do that, but I just I also don't want the commercials, because even though I used to watch like that back in the day, I just don't like commercials, and I do just really like AMC Plus, so I might have to, I might have to continue doing that. But I'm probably going to be watching this episode a billion times. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of videos throughout the week, and just some thoughts going in here. You know, I, I, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, I do kind of feel a little, a little overwhelmed, a little excited. You know, I feel a lot of things about the the fact that the last episode is going to be going to be airing. There's a part of me that wants to just watch the episode live with it and honestly go to sleep but i know a lot of you guys are going to want my review and all that so i'm going to do it like, i'm, I'm going to get on that but i've been really you know focusing on just enjoying this as a fan because this show you know it, it's it's hard to really explain how much this show has meant to me and how much it's really done for me you know like there were so many things i, I personally struggled with years ago 
that watching the show, seeing the character struggle with certain things, it honestly gave me so much inspiration. And specifically Rick Grimes, you know, there was something about the way he fought for his family so hard. It's just so inspirational. It's really honestly so inspirational to the point that it helped me through, honestly, the, the roughest times in my life. It, it really has. And, you know, to have it ending like this, it's just, you know, and, and to have the possibility of Rick coming back, it seems like he's going to be. It's just crazy. And it's just so much fun. And it's just so exciting. That that Talking Dead live event, I'm going to have to watch it. Andrew Lincoln's probably going to be there, um, you know, and it, it's just, yeah, the whole thing is, is just honestly insane. And I just, I really can't wait to watch this episode tonight. In terms of some actual story stuff, you know, and what's going on, I do hope that Pamela Milton's storyline wraps up in a, in a really great way, that the Commonwealth stuff does have a satisfying ending, because there's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening in terms of deaths and stuff. There's going to be some stuff with, with Rick and, like, the ending and all of that, right? There's going to be some really fun and exciting moments that could be could be really awesome, but we technically have been on this Commonwealth arc for, for I mean, really all season long. It does need to have a satisfying conclusion here. Um, I do think we will get it. I do think that they they know what to do with this. I'm really excited. You know, the only prediction I really have is that Judith is going to be giving that last speech there, just like Rick did in the comic. I do believe that's going to happen. I do think her speech is what is going to change everyone's mind on everything. I think most of our characters don't really want to fight anyways. Most of our characters just have issues, honestly, with Pamela Milton. But I think Judith's speech, because I, 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 I'm predicting it to happen, I think could honestly convince all of Pamela Milton's soldiers to stand down and, and side with our group. And I, I think that Pamela Milton is going to lose all of her power completely. And I think that's how it's going to end. And, you know, in terms of how I'm predicting her ending specifically, I think she's going to survive. That's the one thing I can say pretty confidently. I think she's going to survive. She could still be at the Commonwealth. I, I, I know that there's that theory out there, but, you know, Pamela Milton going to the Civic Republic, like she has this escape plan or whatever, maybe. To me, it doesn't really matter what happens there. To me, for sure, I believe she's going to survive. I don't think she's going to be dying. I, I, I really think that that character is, first of all, a really incredible character. But I think that, you know, to, to kill that character off, I don't know if it really matters too, too much with, with the whole purpose of this series, right? So I, I think that overall, I think Pamela Milton's going to survive. And in terms of the characters that I think are going to die, just to give my honest thoughts, just based off of stuff I've seen online and, and the way people have talked about things, Rosita just seems like, honestly, a guarantee at this point. Besides her, I'm kind of really feeling like Aaron might die. Like, I just have this feeling because of that, you know, like that dream sequence or whatever that he had earlier this season. Because of that, I'm honestly feeling like he could actually die. Um, it just kind of really feels like it based off of some of the stuff that's been happening lately. And, you know, Lydia just lost her arm. Like if Aaron died, maybe Lydia would take on more of that Aaron type role. Right. And so maybe the fact that she lost her arm is more symbolic for that. Right. Like I could see that being the case. I mean, Aaron and Lydia, I guess they've had a closer relationship, right? Like, I mean, Aaron did say all that stuff or whatever in episode 23. So like it's, yeah, th that's just sort of my idea right now. Rosita and Aaron. Um, besides that, it's really honestly hard to say. Other than that, I don't really have any thoughts otherwise. So those deaths I I'm thinking could happen. You know, I feel more confident with Rosita based off of the stuff that's been happening. I do think Pamela Milton I is going to survive. And I do think our characters are going to find out that Rick's alive. I, I really do. And the only way I see them finding out is through Judith. And I think it's going to be through that speech if it does happen. And besides that, yeah, I mean, the ending is going to be interesting on, on how they handle a lot of that. And then we'll just kind of see how they transition from that to the spinoffs. So that's going to be the most interesting part of tonight's episode is how you like, honestly, I'm watching it for like the ending and how they're going to end certain things. But I'm really watching to see how they transition from this to the spinoffs, because there's going to be some spinoff stuff in this episode, right? There's going to be that transition where our character's are like, you know, there, there's information that we learn on why Maggie and Negan are going to New York. Why Daryl is, and that's the thing, I will say, I don't know if we're going to know if Daryl's going to France, because I don't think Daryl is intentionally going to France. I believe he's going to find out some proof of, of, of where Rick could be, some sort of evidence that he's going to go investigate, but somehow through doing that, he ends up in France because maybe he gets knocked out by, you know, a CRM official or something like that. And then wakes up over there, right? I don't think we're going to see any of that in tonight's episode, obviously. I think that's going to be a, a season uh, one thing for the Daryl show. And, and honestly, I don't think we're even going to see that in the first episode of that show. I think that, if anything, 
will be something that they reveal in the finale of that of that season because they've talked about that in the past like they've actually talked about the fact that Daryl is going to be wondering why he he's there in France and starting to put the pieces together and figuring out how he got here kind of thing right so however he gets there it, it really does seem like he's just sort of knocked out then he wakes up there right yeah some of the spinoff stuff is going to be really exciting and then the post credit scene having Rick come back I think that right there, I mean, I don't know. Do you feel sad or do you feel happy? Like, obviously, you don't feel sad. You're going to, I think it's just you're going to feel so emotional seeing him. Like, I, I just think tonight's episode is going to be going to be insane. <laughs> it's really going to be crazy. So anyways, I just wanted to give some thoughts here, some final thoughts going into this episode. The Walking Dead ends tonight. And uh, I mean, it ends tonight, but it's really continuing on. Tonight is the moment, honestly, where it gets really massive and expands to the point where it just gets exciting because Rick is the lead again, honestly. And that's the one thing I'm going to mention, too, in my review and all that stuff. Like, I'll definitely mention it in my post credit scene breakdown if Rick's in it. I'm going to say, like, this moment here, the second we saw Rick in that post credit scene and The Walking Dead was over, Rick is now the lead of The Walking Dead universe again. He has now retaken that. He is now back. And now going forward, when we talk about The Walking Dead, we're going to be talking about Rick. So it, this, tonight's a big moment. Tonight's honestly a really incredible moment. Um, it's going to be emotional. It's going to be really big. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here before I keep rambling on. But post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.